I am not putting business in control of the church and the world. I am putting the church in control of, bu of business and the world. I am making the house of God holy again, a place of true worship. No longer will God's sanctuary be a den of thieves, but a house of prayer for all nations. No longer will the church be a safe place to do the things I hate. I will be watching. You will not be allowed to do business in or around a church building. It is only to be used for worship. By the fourth year of my appearing, when I'm sure you have smelled the odor of your decay, I will show you the glory of God if you have believed He sent me. I will have removed the veil from your face so you will see the light and will have given you eternal life never to spiritually die. To see me and believe I am He is to see the light. I am the Son of God, a child of the light, and so are you if you believe. If you do not answer yes to the question, do you believe that I am the Messiah, the Son of God, who was to come into the world, then you have not seen the light. Don't blame me if someone dies. I am stopping death. I have also cried because of all the death and pain in the world. The whole world has spiritually fallen asleep and I have come to wake it. I know some of you will say, let me see you bring someone back to life that has physically died and then you will believe. Because of who I am, all I have to do is say their name and they will be remembered and live forever. If I tell someone to get up, in the eyes of those who love them most, they are well. Because if I have called them, they have seen me. And if they have seen me, they are no longer dead, but alive in heaven. I know also that some of you will not accept this answer, but it is the truth. I depend on the light of God's wisdom to do my walking. And if you are trying to look at this by the light that the world sees by, you might as well be walking in the dark because you are already stumbling like a blind man. There are not enough hours in the day to explain this by the light of man's wisdom. There is no light in you if you do not accept the answer I have given. And now you too will not awaken from your death unless I call you. No other time in history has it been good to be spiritually dead because I do get to come to you and awaken you. You are spiritually sick and because I love you I will not let your life end in spiritual death. I will make you, you better. God will allow me to spiritually heal the world so I am glorified through it which is all to God's glory. I'm sure there are a lot of people who would be pleased if they could get rid of me. But unlike 2,000 years ago, you don't have to pay anyone to tell you where I am. Because I'm telling you myself where I am. Jesus didn't really need a Judas to betray him. It was done that way so no one would do it now. 
because no one wants to come out of this looking like a Judas again. If you even think about betraying me, your fate will be worse than Judas. He only had to deal with the torment of his guilt for betraying Jesus for a few days. I will make sure you're around for a while in your tormented state. You will seek death, but death will elude you. I am the Lord and King of all God's creation. We are ruled with force and cruel cruelty because there hasn't been anything morally for the governments to rely on when they separate the church and state. I come to give restitution to those restitution is due and take restitution from those who restitution is owed. This may not be how you would do it, but God does it according to His own counsel. God is God and He is sovereign over all. He will never accept anything less than first. God has made all other kingdoms perfect, the animal, vegetable, and mineral kingdom, except the human kingdom. God is going to fix all the world's systems, the academic, military, political, religious, and economic. If it needs fixing, then I'm going to fix it. God is going to gain victory through me. Know that I speak all truth. It is to get all to believe God's word. I'm not trying to get you not to believe it. You are stunted spiritually if you don't or haven't continued to learn more about God. Angels are fighting for me. Every sentence written is a message from one. When I send the book, I've sent them all. Twelve legions of angels is to deliver twelve legions worth of messages. Jesus could have said what it took to take him off the cross and defeat all present. But it was not time to use them until now. I have nothing against Allah. But you have made him sound like a different God. If it's the same God, then act like it. The hand that is physically deformed, that does the will of God, is better off and whole than a hand that is physically okay, but has the mark of the beast on it. That is the one that is actually the deformed one, as far as God is concerned. If lame, and I forgive your sins, then you're better off than the man who can walk and is on his way to hell, because you are on the path to heaven. You are no longer sitting on a mat waiting for hell to catch up with you. 